Welcome, everybody. This is our, I guess, inaugural uh, video for the flagship program at rvccis.info. Um, we are the faculty for CIS. Uh, we have here from right to left in your, your upper corner there, Jim Conley. Hey uh, there. Next, we have Chuck Conkle. There. Next, we have Stephanie Washer. Hey. Just a wave. There we go. And me, Eric Wolf. Uh, and together, we are the full time faculty for um, CIS here at Rock Valley College. Um, today is the first of a three part, uh, just mini series, I guess, here um, on kind of what our experiences have been uh, with the, what do you want to call it? Do you want to call it like an exodus from society, a booting out, uh, 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 self isolation, whatever this is we're doing? So just a little bit on what our experiences were uh, so that we can help kind of dispel any myths about who knew what beforehand uh, and let you know what's coming up in the, uh, some of the future uh, video casts we'll have here. Um, so is everybody ready? Ready. Outstanding, nobody fell asleep, that's a good start. Um, so <laughs> uh, first, let's talk about spring break the week before everything happened. Um, what did everybody think? This was going to happen or not? Anybody can take it out. No, I, no. Go ahead, Jim. No, well, yeah, I was thinking, you know, until when did Pritzker, our governor, he said he really didn't do it until what, March 16th or something? Right. Was it Sunday night? The Sunday yeah, or maybe night? Sunday yeah, night. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, go ahead. Sorry. When did, when did we get our email saying spring break was going to be extended again? I really think it was that that Saturday or Sunday before um, it was pretty late, I felt. Yeah, I was supposed to do the sister to sister conference on the 13th, which was that Friday before. And I was at, this was on the 12th, I was at, teaching at Belvedere High School and they had just sent all of the high school students home because they were supposed to go to the um, health building at RVC. And they were supposed to have a tour and do some things there and all of them were sent home. And so I thought, oh, something, you know, something's going to happen. Am I going to actually be able to go and do the sister to sister conference on Friday? And I took the day off. I, I just took a sick day and because I thought it's going to get canceled. There's just no way. And then I think Mary Foreman, um, who was leading the sister to sister conference, emailed that it wasn't even, I think it was late in the evening. Like it was, it was late. It was very last minute. I think Chuck got the email too, cause he was supposed to go mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And um, it got canceled at the last minute. And then I thought, oh, well, if they're going to cancel this, what are they going to do for next week? And what are we going to do for school? But that was about it. And that was Friday, but, you know, Thursday night, yeah. Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I got my phone yeah, blew up. Go ahead, Chuck, go ahead. Sunday. I think the trigger was finally officially pulled on Sunday uh, for the mm -hmm. for the final. Well, it didn't hit our website. I know it didn't hit our website till Sunday. Um, right, even though right, because I was coming back on a plane Friday, and yeah. in between when I left and when I got here was right. when everything started, bu -bu 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 -bu, you know, yeah. just murmurings even happening. Yeah. I mean, but faculty, I was also on a beach in Florida, so I wasn't looking. We we did find out, you know, an hour or two before students did, but uh, that's about it. And so mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's an honest statement. And so, uh, but you know, the only reason we needed to know beforehand was so we could know how to respond to students and help with mm -hmm. emails that you guys would send us and things of that nature. It wasn't a reason of hiding anything. It was just preparing for messaging for you guys to know what to do, what not to do, and all that good stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Next, since those were our thoughts on closing campus, what was the last day on campus like for all of us? So we actually all got together uh, on <laughs> yeah. campus. There was an all hands on deck uh, call uh, for faculty and staff to be there on that Monday. March 16th. Uh, but, yep, March 16th. Uh, and what kind of a, a, a shamble was that meeting for all of us? <laughs> I, it actually was pretty good because we got to see we, we got to see all of our adjuncts and, That's and true. kind of figure things out real quick of what we're going to do with uh, 
uh, CIS 102 because that was kind of the big, you know, big mm -hmm. thing that everybody taught together. So that was kind of nice. And just to see how everybody kind of was doing. And, and I think we're all super busy. <laughs> we were super, even the adjuncts were, were really busy. So mm -hmm. I don't know, it was kind of nice actually. Yeah, it was nice seeing everybody there, not yeah. knowing what what's going to happen the next few days later. So it was nice to see that. Yeah, because we didn't know if we were going to come back or not mm -hmm. for face-to-face. Right. Face. right. They did it just for that week saying, okay, for the next week, we'll be online. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and honestly, at the time, I figured there was, there was no way we were going to do this kind of blanket shutdown for everything just because – you know, look how many programs we have that need lab time, that need hands-on time, that have, you know, think about automotive and all that stuff. Right. So I think we are, like Jenny Kunkel said that day we met was, you know, we're CIS. If we don't know what to do, we're in some pretty deep trouble. <laughs> uh, but uh, since then, I know, you know, Chuck and Stephanie and I for sure, but I'm sure Jim too have been helping other faculty just getting mm -hmm. acclimated. Uh, yeah. right. to the online process here. Yeah, whenever I heard the news from uh, New York that they were calling it, I figured we would probably do so, which we did pretty quickly afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was pretty global. Students were aware of that as right. well. So uh, it wasn't a surprise after after the call from New York that, that uh, we would follow suit, which we yeah. did. Um, but, you know, I think it, it's, it is... I think it was a good thing that we did it when we did it for uh, the safety of, of our students and, and of uh, those in the community. And so they were yep. finding out now it's help, it did help and it is helping flatten the curve as the health officials say. And so does anybody like it? No, definitely not. But one of those deals we have to deal with and be, be as positive as we can through the change and support each other which I think is faculty and his students both. Student to faculty, faculty to student has been awesome as far as what I've seen. Yeah. Communication and interaction, been really good. Anybody else want to take it out? Chuck, that was a fantastic summation right there. I like that. <laughs> that is A plus work. All right, cool. It helps have the Elvis Presley shades too, by the way. It does. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got to put on shades for that, and I just had to put a fresh coat of dome wax on there. So yeah. <laughs> you, you win that one hands down. <laughs> Try to help out. I didn't want you to have to do any lighting for this, Eric, which is why yeah. I wear the cap. Ooh, do that again. I like that, Jim. Take the hat yeah. off again. I like that. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. You know, the special He's light. take that headphone off. Yeah, then. yeah. yeah right. Yeah, you're, it kind of blurs you out a little. Yeah, it blurs the head out. It takes the head off. Like, it's like it. half dome at Yosemite. So, yeah. <laughs> I tried using the backgrounds, but my eyes are the same color as the background, so I look like this creepy alien thing I can't use the background. <laughs> yeah. It's not totally perfected yet, but yeah, it's it's okay. But I tried it too, stuff and I was you miss a shoulder or my head would disappear. Or right. Yeah. Whatever. I figure it's probably like know, that when it disappears. So it might might be a good thing. I covered up the boxes in the background. Well this is the living room. This is different today, but uh in my office downstairs I've been doing videos. I just put a sheet uh, roughly the same color as my walls in the background yep. there, and you can barely see it. So I finally done a little bit of cleaning to get that nice. better. Um, but that is yeah, a yeah. great segue for what episode two uh, is going to oh, be. Good. And that is <laughs> a little bit about our home office setup. So this was a little bit of a, um, a foreshadowing for that, uh, for the next episode. Sure. Uh, so join us all, everybody, for episode two, uh, the home office setup here on RVCCIS. Dot info. Uh, we have been your hosts. Uh, I will go from my left to right this time around. Stephanie Washer, Chuck Conkle, Jim Conley, and myself, Eric Wolf. We're the faculty at RVC. Um, join us next time. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button down there or subscribe so we have an idea whether or not there is anybody out there. Uh, so on behalf of all of us, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.